going to be testing uh, and checking the charge on an RB breaker. Uh, the procedure is simple, it only takes a few minutes, uh, and hopefully with this video it will it'll help explain it a little bit easier for you. Uh, to charge it, there's a charge port, only one located on this unit, it's all the way at the top. Uh, this size breakers up to the thousand size basically do not use accumulators, so it's just a hollow chamber at the top. Uh, the charge is checked by removing this plug right here with a 19 millimeter wrench or a socket and an extension. Okay, remove that. You're going to need a uh, nitrogen charging tool, which looks like this. It comes in a box like this with its own line, an adapter for your tank, and of course the charger itself. The charger has is a dual gauge. It has uh, PSI in red, which is what we're going to use, and also has kilograms uh, on in black. Again, we're going to use the red. If you look on the center of the breaker, there's a tag that tells you the gas pressure reading of 205 to 235 PSI. That's the range we want to stay at. Uh, the breaker will run uh, efficiently at a lower rate. Uh, for example, if it's at uh, 190, uh, however, it's not going to hit at maximum power and you may not notice it. Um, that's why we recommend that the gas pressure be checked at least once a month. And for our rental guys, uh, I would recommend that uh, the gas pressure be checked before every rental. Uh, that way your customer gets the best performing breaker. And if he likes it, he may want to come back and buy a breaker from you in the future. Uh, so again, here's the procedure for checking the charge. We remove the, 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 protection, the protecting cap of the gas cap at, from the top of the breaker. The bottom of the charge tool, it's got the plunger with the little o-ring right here. If the o-ring gets lost, you do have one replacement o-ring that's in the box. And there's another o-ring as well that is for sealing this part right here, which we're going to explain in a minute, but there's another o-ring for, for that as well. Okay? All right. The charge, the charge procedure is really straightforward. Install the charger on top of the, the gas valve assembly. Whichever direction, doesn't matter this way or whatever, whatever way works and turn the, the thumb screw which is located right here you screw the whole body down as you notice I'm not trying to rotate the entire charger I'm only turning the thumb screw alright and what I like to do is I like to hold the charger over to one side snug it down as much as I can by hand and then f have it walk or follow me so I can get a nice additional snug on it you don't want to use any tools because uh, you can end up damaging the, uh, the aluminum housing on the charger alright next thing you want to do Make sure the thumb screw is, turn, is, is tight so you don't lose any gas. And make sure this cap, again, is tight. All right? Simply at this point, where everything's set, just push down on the plunger. As you can see, again, we want 205 to 235, and we're under 200 PSI. So obviously this breaker will require a gas charge. On certain models, um, there's enough room to be able to install the charge, the line, which, by the way, I've got a tank already set up with the line here. You can install the charger, uh, the line to the charger easily. Uh, on others, it may be a little bit more difficult. Uh, you have to use your best judgment. What you can do, an easy way to do it, is to release the gas pressure and take the charger back off. Again, making sure you don't lose that, that O-ring down at the bottom. And then take this cap off. Make sure that O-ring's in place. And you can pre-install this line while it's in your hand. It just makes it easier to work with. You don't, Again, no tools are necessary. You snug it down. And now you can go ahead and screw this charger down. Making sure that O-ring is in place. Okay. And get it tight. Again, no tools. Make sure that thumb screw is also tight and once you're confident you can go ahead and get your reading again and now at the tank on the tank side on the tank side as you notice and I'm not using a regulator uh, obviously a regulator would be ideal you can you can go without in the regulator as long as you make sure you open up the tank slowly um, it works perfectly fine as you can see I'm gonna open the tank a little bit now look at the gauge and you'll see I'm at 200 right now. Again, I want to be close to 235. 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it just over that. I'm about 250 right now. It doesn't have to be exact. Just get it in that range. We'll fine tune it in a minute. Okay, once I'm comfortable with that, I close my tank off. I release a plunger. And again, I remove the pressure in the gauge. And take my gauge back off. Okay. Again, making sure the O ring's in place. Remove this line off. And then pre and reinstall your cap. Alright, that's tight. And with this tight, I'll install the charger one more time. Again, on larger hammers, you've got more room. You don't have to remove this charger that many times. This one's a little bit tighter. Still, it's just as easy to just take it off. All right, again, holding it to one side, I snug it down and I move the whole thing over. Again, check, make sure everything is tight. And now I'm gonna get a reading again. As you can see, I'm at uh, 260. All right, so I'm gonna simply Release the gas, get it right in between there, between the 220 and 240, and there you go. The charge is set. I release my gas pressure, release my charger for the last time. Again, the O-ring's in place, put the protective, protective cap back in place, put the charger back in the housing so it doesn't fall get damaged. Put your gas valve cap back in place and tighten it down. It doesn't require a lot of muscle on this. Just snug it down. That's more than enough. I hope this video helps. Uh, obviously, we're at your disposal if you guys need any additional information. Uh, in the future, we'll try to put more videos together. Hopefully, it'll help with, in, with doing other maintenance. Uh, thank you.